Today is the day that NASA will land the first rover on Mars in nearly a decade. Perseverance will search for signs of life, collect the first samples that will be returned by a future mission, and pave the way for human explorers. All fun stuff. NASA Associate Administrator Jim Reuter joins us this morning to talk all about this historic mission. Good morning. Good morning. So Perseverance, it's, it's the first rover to land on Mars since Curiosity back in 2012. What is so special, though, about Perseverance in this mission? Yeah, this is really an exciting day for us, and I really appreciate being here. And we're getting ready to land uh, Perseverance on Mars at, um, in, at 3.55 Eastern, so I think 12.55 your time. Uh, Perseverance, the a cute, coolest thing about the Perseverance to me is we've got this new uh, toolbox, science and technologies, that will allow us to search for signs of ancient microbial life, better characterize the planet's uh, climate and geology. And for the first time, we're going to be able to land in an ancient test lake bed, uh, which is one of the more exciting places on Mars to explore, because we have this technology that we call terrain relative navigation that's kind of an eyes and map to help precisely land along, along uh, steep inclines, sand, and rocks. Okay, and so then the the rover it will be studying some of the the hopefully the what did you call it micro microbial yeah. uh, elements that it finds. Yeah, well, uh, what we're kind of looking for, we'll collect samples and examine the rocks for any ancient signs of life that we call kind of biosignatures. It won't be the it won't be microbial itself, um, but it'll tell us about the formation of rocky planets and, and what's there. Um, that's exciting stuff yeah. when you talk about looking for life on Mars. So yeah, not necessarily, you know, any green aliens popping out, but, right. uh, you know, it'd be really <laughs> cool to see uh -huh. if there was microbial life. Now, mm. uh, but this lake bed, I think the other the other part of this is it's a really tough area to, to land. This is kind of a dangerous mission for Perseverance. So how, how nervous are you going to be over the next several hours as this yeah. is happening? Yeah, um, you're you're right. The, that seven minutes once we start entry is the most critical and dynamic and really dangerous part of the entire mission. Uh, we start with the spacecraft entering the Mars atmosphere at about twelve thousand miles an hour, and then it has to slow us down and land within those seven minutes um, using a series of complex maneuvers, parachutes, thruster firings, firings, and then a landing crane to set it on the surface. And since it's so far away, um, there, there's no commanding from Earth. It's on its own. And we won't know what's happened until after it signals us back. So there'll be that seven minutes really of, of silence. And it's kind of a reflective moment, I think, for us, especially as we look how we've persevered the last year. Oh, my yeah, gosh. It's going to feel like the longest seven minutes ever. Nerve wracking. Yeah. yeah. Going like a gazillion miles an hour down to, you know, pretty, pretty slow. Uh, so how can viewers or, you know, people out there watch what's happening? Is there a way to watch this real time? Yeah, there sure is. Um, I, I recommend going to mars.nasa.gov. You can... You, you'll, you'll, you can get, you'll see, you'll be able to have links to anywhere you want to go. The NASA TV will be showing this live and you'll be able to link to it. Um, touchdown is at uh, 3.55 Eastern, so that's 12.55 your time. Um, and it's, and tr the commentary will start at 2.15 Eastern, so three hours before that. That's exciting stuff. I know I will be glued to my computer screen this afternoon. Jim, thanks so much for joining us and congratulations to the whole team. I know this has been, you know, a lot of work, so good luck with this mission. Yeah, thank you. And if you want to watch that historic landing of Perseverance on Mars, we're going to have that link for you that Jim mentioned, all the info you need at coin.com. Pretty cool stuff. Okay, it is uh, 741. You know, the Pacific Northwest loves nature. Well, up next, how a local shoe company is helping give kids access to the great outdoors. Plus, we're helping you stay warm this winter. If you're having some HVAC troubles, you might have noticed it. As soon as the temperatures dropped, we got some advice for you coming up. So